Good morning students. Now let us continue with the new chapter, chapter number 9, Ledger. Lastly, we have learned various recording in the subsidiary book or in the journal proper and all recording work, initial, basic, fundamental recording work we have learned. Now we need to proceed further. We need to find the conclusion and we need to know how the profits or loss is possible. If you remember in the journal proper, the last I have explained that how from the uh, journal we record it into ledger, we find the balance of each account and then we do the trial balance and final account. So here that ledger, what the ledger, that second main fundamental books of account, it is also known as a principal book of account, fundamental book of account. So let us try to understand what the ledger. So here in our chapter number 9, ledger, the ledger is a book in which each account is prepared to know the summary of each account. So what we do, it is a book. A trader deals with number of transactions and in number of transactions, number of individual account are there. <coughs> so each account, for an example, when you sold goods for cash, your journal entry become cash to sales. So cash is one account, sales is another account. Like that when the owner bring capital into the business, cash into the business, you record that cash account to capital account. So again capital account is one another new account. Cash is already we have calculated. So capital is a new account. Like that when you purchase goods for cash, so your entry you write is purchase account debit to cash account. Again we are not counting cash because it's already calculated once. So purchase is a new word. So like this, if you count, you keep on getting n number of names. As a Ramesh account, Ram account, purchase account, sales account, wages account, octroi account, salary account, commission account. List go on and on and on and on. In general, a journal, we only get the journal information, a particular transaction information. We want to know the summary. Summary means the concluding figure that how much the wage is total, how much you have spent the wages in total. So when you want to know the summary, you have to prepare an account. And account, the book in which all such accounts are recorded is known as a ledger. Clear? So ledger is a book. It is called as a principal books of account. It is called as a fundamental books of account. Journal is a basic book of account. And ledger is a fundamental books of account. So ledger, once again, let us recapitulate. Ledger is a book in which each account is prepared to know the summary of each account. 100 accounts are there. Then 100 performa you will prepare and 100 time you will do the process of posting and at the end you get the balance. That is what the purpose of you to prepare the account and all such accounts all together the book in which you record is known as a ledger. The second that as here we have used the word account. So you must know what is an account. If you remember when we have learned the accounting terminology. At that time this word has already explained. Once again let us recapitulate. An account means a summary showing the debit and the credit effect of transactions affected during a specified period. What an account means? You have already learned one account. If you remember in cash book, what you used to do? You used to have the debit side, credit side. You used to post all the transactions related to cash book. So actually this process you have already learned. Here we are simply recapitulating and again reframing the words. So here with the debit and credit effect of a specific period you are recording. Related to either that account may be of individual, account may be of Ram or Shyam or Ganshyam or Suresh or Ramesh, may be of a goods, 
that is purchase account, sales account, purchase return, sales return, like that. It may be of asset, plant, machinery, furniture, building, all are asset account. Income, commission received, rent received, dividend received, discount received, end of expense, salary paid, wages paid, carriage is paid. So all such type of particular accounts are prepared in a specific format. What the format is? The format which we have learned in our cash account also. In a specific format according to the rules of accounting. Rules are to be followed. Which rules of accounting? Personal account, real account, nominal account. Personal account rules you know. What you used to say? Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Then the real account what you say? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. And your nominal account what you say? Debit all expenses and losses and credit all income and gain. So every time when you post in a particular account, always keep on remember that rule. And according to the rule, you follow the posting. So the next we see the specimen of an account. So as we have to prepare so many accounts, we must know the specimen. The specimen is the T form presentation. Account is a T form presentation. In the cash book first lecture, we have observed this T form presentation. I am talking about simple cash book. Okay, don't get confused with the column. A simple cash book, cash account we have observed. That what sort of an account you have. One debit side, other side is the credit side. You have the debit side date, the date of transaction in a chronological order we used to write. Particular, the journal when you pass in your mind, the opposite account related to that transaction to be recorded here in particular. Now here important, JF number. See in our... Uh, journal we used to write LF number because from journal on which page of ledger you uh, book you will get this particular information. So we used to write LF number. In ledger from which page of journal you have taken this transaction. So we write the JF number. Take care of it. And the amount rupees. So this all about debit side. In the same manner credit side. Again the same. Date, particular, JF number, JF number again remember very well and amount rupees. Clear? So the ledger is a book in which all the accounts are opened and we try to know the summary of each account. In general you can say this much. Second, we have learned what is account. Account means a particular account which you open all the transactions related to that particular account, we get the summary all together and we try to know the balance of each account by doing the posting with the rules of debit and credit and we do in a T form presentation in a specific format, we prepare each account in ledger book. Is it clear? Next is the advantages of ledger. Why you prepare ledger? Number one, that ledger gives you information regarding balance of each account. Number two, while knowing the balance, you are able to prepare trial balance. Number three, with the help of trial balance, you are in position to prepare final account. Number four, ledger established a bridge. It connects. It connects the journal, that is what the general all information and the trial balance or a final account. So it established a bridge. Without knowing balance, you are not able to prepare final account. Directly from journal, you cannot know what is your total sales. You cannot know what is your total capital. So ledger gives you information about how much capital you have invested. What is your closing cash balance? What is your bank balance? What is your total 
amount of capital invested by the owner what are the assets you are holding what are the liabilities you are supposed to pay so in this manner the summary what you want that is possible only with the help of ledger so in this manner ledger advantages are many and we have to prepare the ledger without ledger it is not possible for any businessman to go further in accounting work so accounting uh, always need a ledger preparation and uh, the ledger balance is only help a trader to know the financials uh, the balance of each financial matter regarding the business and that uh, equation of that final account c plus l is equal to a if you want to maintain and prepare and check then for that you need the data which is provided by ledger this way the advantages are many and you have to have a ledger in a books of accounts in next class we will see what is posting and how the posting to be done in a ledger the posting to be done with a two type of journal a simple journal and a combined journal so both that process of posting we will learn in next class thank you